Hello and welcome back. It's good to see you guys. I am quite excited. Today is July 1st, so in my uh, inbox today, I have received the July member box. So I am going to go ahead and open that. We'll take a look and see what is inside. Very excited. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe so that you can check out other cool stuff. Okay, so here we have the July member box. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. So your July member box is here. It looks like we've got uh, quite a few stuff, which, uh, so it says, please enjoy this month's member box containing awesome member items. Return as a member on the first of next month to receive next month's box. Let's open it up, all right? Okay, here we go. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Cool. Look at all of this stuff. We have a Canada Goose. We have a Cherry Cream Hat. We have 100 Hot Hots. Morph Marble Flaria. And Historic Resist All. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, have our Canada Goose follow us around for a little bit. And then let's try the Cherry Cream Hat on and see how we feel about that. All right, let's click Next. And... <laughs> that is awesome. Super exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and come on over to our guy. Oh, let's share that. It's gone already. That's okay. I'll go back and share it with my buddies. Um, okay, so for our hat, let's find our cherry cream hat. Put that on. And then for our buddies, let's say goodbye to our storm cloud. And then <laughs> we can go on to Canada Goose and have our... That is super cute. That is super cute. Okay. So let's go ahead and have our Canada Goose following us around. And we will turn off the cloud for right now. Um, <clears throat> so that is the member box, which is super exciting. The uh, resist all will be extremely helpful. Look at that goose. Oh, that is adorable. Uh, the um, uh, member box will be avail will is available with the membership. And... Um, Let's talk to Flora, and then we'll uh, go ahead and do a couple battles. Monsters lull Gerald to sleep all the time. I guess he's a bit loud when he walks around. We can wake him up, but first, we need to fix my broken flute. Okay, so we're fixing Flora's broken flute, and that's our, mi our mission right now. Easy peasy. Just bring it to the magic stump in the woods. So we're looking for the magic stump, and that's where we're heading to fix Flora's uh, flute <laughs> so that we can go ahead and wake up Gerald. Oh, and doesn't look like it's gonna head on over, so we'll just let it go, that's all right. Okay, so I think we're gonna get through here and then uh, see what we can get. Hopefully, oh, I was hoping my Canada Goose was gonna help us slip by, but that did not happen, did it? All right, here is our wizard battle. This is, <laughs> excuse me, Palm Prickle with one Falling Star Smash. What number comes next? So 42, 52, 62. You can see the ones place isn't changing. This is an ascending pattern. It's going up, it's increasing. Um, and so 42, 52, 62, 72 would be the next uh, number in this sequence because it's ascending by 10. So let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And boom. So we are we are just wrapping up our uh, second grade skills and everything like that. There's uh, nothing else I'm going to be teaching uh, directly. So we'll just go over the problems and I'll walk. I'll talk my way through them as we play. So this is 55, 65, 75. This is also going up by tens. You can see that the tens place is changing by one, uh, by one group of 10 and then the uh, ones place is not changing so our next number after 75 is gonna be 85 let's cast that spell remember you can watch the lesson you can read it out loud too if uh, there's a difference between your math abilities and your reading abilities go ahead and make sure that you are having the questions read to you that is a great strategy and the strategies uh, that will make our lives better. We want to go ahead and focus on those. Let's Falling Star Smash. Here we go, 28, 38, 48, and 58. And then cast that spell, Woohoo! So it's a little change, but that 
that it, that little image, the little icon with the uh, uh, monster's face in it, with Palm Prickle's face, I think it's such a cool detail. That was added probably a month ago or so, but I'm still really enjoying seeing that. All right, so we're getting more stars here. There we go. Let's open up our chest. All right, 200 gold, an old sock, and 20 florins. That's awesome. Okay, let's see if we can sneak by today. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to have to go up a little bit further, and I think we're going to go ahead and battle horsey if we can get this. Oh, you moved away. All right, so looks like we're going straight. We're going straight. We went for the Firefly, it did not happen. Okay, so we'll do some AOE attacks here with our Supernova. Starting off with this Arboreal, 88, 98, 108. So 118 is gonna be our next in this sequence, and it's still going up by 10. So these are definitely focusing on uh, counting on by 10s. And we got that right, got a skill complete, woohoo! Make sure that you Focus on that, get really excited about that. It's awesome to get those skills complete. It means you're working hard, doing your job, and you're focused on casting those spells correctly, getting those answers correctly. Let's see what Arboreal does. Ooh, 1,333 points of damage, a critical hit. Man, all right, another supernova coming your way, Arboreal. Use base 10 blocks to show the two numbers. So we're showing four, one, <clears throat> two, three, and then four. And then we're gonna show the eight. And now remember with these, Prodigy organizes them by five. So we'll, uh, eight is a five and a three added together. So that would be eight right there. And so which number is the least? Four is the least. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And up it goes. And down it comes. Spell power bonus for both of them. That's awesome. All right, I think I'm gonna slow down here and hit twice so that I can build up that uh, build up my mana again. Use base 10 blocks to show the two numbers. Seven, which is going to be five and two, and then we're showing three over there. So, once we have our row of five in our 10 frame, model two would be on the bottom, so that would be seven, and then three is going to be just three on the top. The least is three. Cast that spell. Woohoo! So it's given me it's giving me some of the easier skills in second grade now that I'm just on second grade and I'm letting it the algorithm sort of go through and sort of finish up these second grade skills. That just the little image right there is so cool. I love seeing that image of Fun Fun Keel there. All right, Falling Star Smash, here we come. So 19 is what we're doing. So 19 is going to show uh, 110 and then five ones. A row of five and then a row of four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you are still counting on, that is okay. So if you are doing 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, that is <coughs> okay. They're still asking for the least. So let's go ahead and click on that. Cast this spell. It is. 100% okay to still do that. Um, no problems at all. Okay, good spell power bonus there as well. See you later, Funkio. And we won. Woohoo! 21 battle stars and so close to level 60. Let's see if we can make it to the magic stump before um, I get to 60. All right, we got some old coins. And Magithred outfit. That's pretty cool. Sure, let's change. Let's change. Let's put it on. That's neat. I'll share that with my buddies. And then let's come on up here. Oh, missed that achievement. That's okay. I'll go back and I'll change that around. 
Okay, so the magic stump is over here. Let's head on over. And then it's going to be down here. So we have an arboreal to battle right here. And then we'll be at the magic stomp. Okay, so here's arboreal. There's only one, so we'll, falling, we'll do falling star smash. So 27 is going to be two tens and then seven ones. And so now the sevens, it'll be one row of five and one row of two. I really like how the ones place is organized as a 10 frame. I think it makes everything much clearer. Okay, we're gonna do 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So 24 for that one. 24 is the least number. It comes before 27. All right, it shows less value. Okay, great job, Woohoo! And 2641, another spell power bonus. That's awesome. Arbreel's using Forest Hurricane. 1452 points of damage with spell power bonus as well. Falling Star Smash, here we come. So 25 is going to be two tens and five ones. 21 will be two tens and one one. It's still asking for the least. So let's go ahead and move these over. And then remember, you can have it list read Use to you. Use base 10 blocks to show the two numbers, 25 and 21. Which okay. number is the least? Okay, and 21 is the least. So remember, you have the option to have it read to you. Use that. Use the strategies you need. Woohoo! If you look at something and it doesn't make sense to you, watch those lessons if it offers you, okay? Um, make sure you are learning the content and you are doing your best. Ooh, awesome. You missed Arboreal, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do Falling Star Smash here. So 48 and 44. You can see these numbers are getting larger as we're heading through this standard. So there's 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then eight is going to be a row of five, one full row, and then three more. So let's move this on over and then move over the other one. It's very important to move these and manipulate them. So I'm glad that these are features and that this continues into second grade. So really moving the manipulatives and constructing the numbers. It reminds us that we're dealing with things that are real. Numbers represent real things. And so in order for us to better understand that, having... Um, Manipulatives, things we move around, so important. And we got the skill up. Woohoo! Skill complete for comparing numbers. Let's see if it's a rank up. Nope. But that is a rank down for Arboreal. See you later. All right. Woohoo! We won. 11 battle stars, and that should be, yes, level 60. All right. We got a Conjure Cube, that is awesome. Okay, I think we will open up the Conjure Cube, see what is inside at the end of today's video. 200 gold coins, one copper coin, 20 florins. All right, let's head on down to here. Okay, let's head on down. And there is the magic stomp. Let's turn this basket over first. 15 florins and 50 gold. That's awesome. Okay, clicked around over there a little bit. Let's put this on this on the tree stump. Oh, man. All finished. Let's head back, okay? Yes, let's head back. Yes, we want to return to Flora right now. What? It's been stolen again? Man, Flora, you are having some bad luck. Got 200 gold for that one. Gold coins. That's the last straw. Now I'm real mad, and nobody wants to mess with an angry forest fairy. Nobody does. Go find that monster and bring back my flute. 
He could be anywhere. Okay, so we have to go back and we have to find the monster that has the flute, and that will be what we're doing in our next episode. Let's open up our conjure cube and then uh, see what's in there, and we'll go ahead and track down this monster in our next one. So happy the July member box came out. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be having Summerfest really soon. I'm super excited for that. And um, I think it's just so, so exciting, so motivating for us to play math over the summer that I really can't wait for it to happen. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our Conjure Cube though, so, and see what we get. A Jester's Cap, Rare Storm Resist, and a Cake. That is awesome. The Jester's Cap, I think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna wear the Jester's Cap right now. I think we're gonna leave this, uh, this little dessert on our head that we have right now, but let's share that with our buddies. Um, so I hope you liked today's video. Thank you for stopping by, um, and have a great day. Keep on prodiging on. I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.